Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how much, pretty much how I keep most of my diamond paintings, at least my smaller ones. I don't, I do a lot of diamond paintings and I don't put them all on my walls. So I have been putting them into this portfolio book I got on Amazon. So it's pretty much how I display my diamond paintings so that I could look at them in the future. So today I, I already cut up some cardboard. I mean, not cardboard. This is um, construction paper so that will fit into these slots. And I'm going to show you how I add one. So this is a diamond painting I recently completed. Um, so what I'm going to do first is, oh, I, I don't use washi tape that much. I feel like it's a waste of using pretty washi tape to just put it on the sides of the diamond painting. So I actually just cut up pieces of like the double-sided adhesive and I put it around and then I just reuse it over and over. So... Okay, I'm just going to cut this. I don't know how much the cutting is going to go on camera, but... So, cutting, cutting. Yeah, I don't want to bend down and you see the top of my head, so... This might be boring, so feel free to fast forward over this, because... Yep, I'm still trying to figure out editing, and... When I see... The part in editing where you could fast forward over it or like do quick um, fast like where you speed it up you sound like chipmunks so like really really bad chipmunks so oh this is really sticky um, the glue is pretty sticky on the side here so I've decided that if you don't want to see the whole video, just just click that like fast forward button. I don't mind. I do that too. So, but you know, if you're just watching this in the background while you're diamond painting, which I do also a lot, I watch a lot of YouTube videos while diamond painting, and I just have it in the background. I actually don't mind the longer ones because. You know, you don't have to keep looking for the next video to watch. And it feels like you're diamond painting with someone else. Okay. So. More cutting. This. Yeah, th I'm just having a hard time cutting because the glue went pretty far to the edge so it's sticking to my scissors I guess if I had used washi tape then I would not have this problem but yeah like I said it seems like a waste of pretty washi tape to use it on the side of diamond painting I keep all my washi tape for you know like if I'm gonna make something prettier, like if I was, I could put washi tape around this if I wanted to after I put it in. But I kind of like just the plain black. It helps the painting be the star. So okay, there we go. I cut up all that. So now I'm just gonna put it onto this black background I have a ruler I usually just eyeball it but I do like to kind of make sure that it's it's about equal like it doesn't have to be perfectly equal oh you can probably see the top of my head now but that looks good okay so Oh, you know what I should have done <laughs> is put the double. So I just use double-sided tape 
to stick this on. Instead of glue, because glue is messier. I usually just put ah, three pieces. Now I have to do that whole like eyeballing thing and again. Eh, I know it was about three and a half at the top and bottom. Yeah, that looks. And about three on the sides. So that <clears throat> looks about right. So I usually would just take the tape. Oops, I'm getting both. No, it's for some reason I can't take off. There, just, just the outer layer. So, that in there. Nope, I don't want the whole thing. I just want the t There you go. And last one. No, why isn't it? Sorry for the struggle. I can't seem to take off the backing from the tape. There you go. There. Now it's in there and I could go put it in my, the next slot on my, at least so you can kind of see what I have finished already. So, And, oops, okay. So this portfolio I got is from Amazon. I will link it below. It's not the best quality one, but it was one of the cheaper ones. So I'm all for cheap. And so my whole plan with this is I will, if I ever want to display any of these is I'll just get a 12 by 16 frame and I'll just take it out with the black backing in the back. So I do have two more I'm going to be doing. I, I already cut these out. So if you want to keep watching and see me struggle putting these on, then you're welcome to watch. But otherwise, thank you for watching. I'm going to do my next one. Okay. So here's... So most of these were my drills and chills um, diamond paintings. I'm actually done with drills and chills now. I've pretty much gone through my whole stash and picked out everything that possibly could be, what's it called, applicable to it. So. So, oh, if you don't know what Drills and Chills is, go check out videos from Kay Diamond Paints on YouTube. And she is doing for pretty much September to October, uh, like a Halloween fall theme hashtag event. So I I've liked it because it's given me an excuse to do these diamond paintings that I have a lot of. And... I was able to do 10 different diamond paintings for drills and chills, so it's really slashed my stash, which I am really trying to do because I just have way too many and I'm not buying any more until I'm closer to well, pretty much until I don't have that many left because I 
I have way more diamond paintings than I could do in a couple months, so. Okay, why is this not coming? So yeah, my current diamond painting is the one that I kitted up before. The one with the snowman. I am going to be recording another kitting up video. Um, I haven't gotten that many views for my videos, but I've just been doing this for fun. I'm doing it anyway, so at least now I feel like I'm doing it with someone. I don't know if you if you watched my first video where I pretty much just rambled while kidding up a video. Um, I am I do live alone, so and with this whole pandemic thing, it's been harder to talk to people, you know, face to face. So now I feel like I'm talking to you on YouTube. So this is just giving me someone to talk to. Even if I'm just talking to myself because no one's watching my videos, it's fine with me. Okay, my last one here. Okay. So what do people, what do you, what do you who are watching? If you want to make a comment of what you do with your diamond paintings after you're done, I would love to know. Um, this, I found, is the easiest way to display my diamond paintings when I don't want to put them all on my walls. And I don't want, like, I've spent hours diamond painting on these, and I don't want them to just be, like, in a pile somewhere. So I figured the book makes it easier to like if i you know when the whole pandemic was over and more people are actually going to visit me in my house um i'm i could just bring out the book and here and be like here this is all the craziness i did during the pandemic let's see and then they'll be like you crazy you did all of this <laughs> Because I feel like sometimes I am a little crazy, but I'm crazy, crazily addicted to this hobby, so. And I'm sure if you're watching this video, you are in the same boat as me. So. <clears throat> oh, well, I'll link. I don't know if I said it before. <clears throat> Sorry. I, I'll link this presentation book and the... What's it called? The black, ooh. I lost the drill, the drill. It's not sticking. Okay, there. Yeah, no, I, I don't normally seal my diamond paintings if I'm not going to put them exposed to air since I'm gonna put them, or not really, you know, exposed where someone's gonna be scratching them. So I don't normally seal mine unless I have to. So, but these are going into little pockets, so, so it doesn't really matter. So now, put my book. Maybe at some point I'll have a little flip through of this so you can see everything that I've finished. At least that's in this book. Okay. So. And... This book actually has enough um, sleeves for like, there's like 40 sleeves on this, so I could hypothetically put 80 diamond paintings in this, but I'm not even halfway through, and this thing is super heavy, like, so I might stop doing this double-sided, um, like putting two paintings in a row and just, I mean, in, in a pocket, and just do one, because this is, and get, just get a new one, because this thing is, like, like, heavy. But, there you go. Now I have everything displayed. Oh, and I did have to cut the construction paper, because the construction paper came in a 
12 by 18 size and this is like slightly less than 12 and 16.5 inches so I did have to cut it on both sides but I couldn't find any paper so I think this is like an for this must be like an A3 um, presentation book or that's what they called it and um, I'm figuring until supplies get you know the supply chain gets better um, it's gonna be hard to find things so I was really trying to find black a3 paper but I couldn't find anything so I just got this construction paper and cut it so I will link the construction paper too it was relatively cheap oh and also I also use this to keep my have not done yet um, diamond paintings in the back so it makes it easier for me to look through it and be like oh maybe I should do that one next but yeah well, thank you for watching and Please like, subscribe, just keep watching, and have a good day. Bye.